Um, faith was really kind of becoming less and less important to me, where I really didn't see Christians living out their faith in any ways that were meaningful. I'd, I'd grown up in kind of a prosperity gospel church, and so like everything was just about like keeping you out of hell. And this was the first person I really heard articulate their faith as like, God put me in the world to help other people. I had a mentor named Jay, he's a pastor. Uh, he was the first pastor that I met who didn't look like a normal Lutheran pastor. Uh, he had a blonde mohawk and wore blue jeans all the time and I don't think I've ever seen him in a collar other than my wedding. Well, I have a, a storyteller who is a mentor of mine, Dr. Joyce Duncan. And I met her quite a number of years ago when I decided after retiring from New York Public Library that I wanted to be a um, storyteller. I'll never forget the thing that he said to me, which is that you have to have, uh, if you want to be a pastor, you have to have the voice of a prophet that is uh, loud enough to wake people up, but quiet enough not to blow out a candle. During the past 20 years, the person that has been a mentor for me was Carolyn Halpert. I was told you know, to talk to her because she uh, was in the process of getting a chapter of the National Association of Black Storytellers in New York City. She's great and she's a great mentor as far as storytelling because she gently tells you, um, she critiques her work and her style of critiquing is just wonderful. We went into Christ Church. It was Passion, Passion Week, Passion Sunday. And these people were reenacting the story that I had known. But it was the scripture itself. And so I thought we made a follow up trip to the church the following Sunday. And I made inquiries as to who these people were. I was introduced to Carolyn. And she said, it's no script, it's the Word of God. He recognized that like there's a hole in your life, I'm not trying to fill it, but, but I, recognize, I recognize how much that, that pain drives you and motivates you, and if there's anything I can do to help fill that void, I want to do it. Of course, Carolyn hooked me up with all the information about the network of biblical storytellers and even paid for me to attend the first one. And I just, I love the authenticity with which he lived out his life and his faith and the best thing that ever happened to me was finding out that he wasn't perfect.